5 Handicap in the simulator, looking for a few tips on a variety of topics in the golf swing. And when I get extensive notes, usually the output of the lesson is improved because it is specified toward the subject's issues. And in this case, looking for improved club face control, tending to strike the ball with a closed face in the shorter irons, and the ball will tend to fade as the clubs get longer. See if you have any tips on helping with early extension as I've been trying to squat in the transition and keep my hips back, but have had no luck. Ball contact will sometimes be fat, and the driver will tend to have a downwards angle of attack, taking away a lot of loft and losing distance with that. Overall goals are to hit bombs and throw darts. So, excellent. Let's take a look. Setup overall with the iron down the line doesn't look too bad. Stance and posture look pretty solid. Alignment of your body looks square to closed, and the nice trigger finger down with the grip in the fingers. So, Overall starting position is not bad. If I get one primary path line, like always, just to see a couple movements through the swing. Let's look at that again. And one of your, I think your third comment was you hit the ball fat and right on your takeaway, it is subtle, but you are swaying off the ball before the club's moved six inches in the backswing. That is rather easy to clean up. Try to pivot more on your left side and get your turns to go with more weight and pressure into your front side because if we see the miniature version of your swing from the face on view right up here, it might be tough to see, but if I get a line towards your lead hip, you're gonna rock off that ball a few inches and your right hip is going to be higher than your left hip with tilt. That can get into a reverse pivot territory if your backswing continues to be too long, but I don't think you have too much of that issue. You will drive the hips and look like you get back out in front of it, Let's let the other guy catch up here as you swing through, but you can see how long it takes you for your lower body to clear out, and there is still a lot of flex in your left knee as you come through that impact area. So I'd like to cover a couple things with you here. Most of it isn't the traditional path and face angles. I do like to have that here as it's just helpful to see throughout, but really gearing in on the early extension of your hips. Let's play it back as you Keep your weight back to the heel side and don't really transfer to your toes in the backswing, so you're okay there. But as I said, the weight is on your back foot, if not a little bit on the outstep there as well. But as you transition, the movements tend to be a little bit more on your toes and then moving forward in closer to the ball. A great way to solve this is by getting more post or left leg extension through impact. So you said you worked on the squatting transition. And the squat or flexing of your trail knee is a good move as you're transitioning. But after you make that sit to your left side, you want to really begin straightening that left leg aggressively. And I've got a tour comparison that I hope we can bring up cleanly here and take a look at the move. So it is Max Homa from the face on view. I'll get a similar line for him as well, just alongside the lean hip and playing him up to the top. He's gonna remain fairly steady, maybe move an inch off of it as the weight shifts back, but the pressure does not exceed the outstep of the trail foot. Length of backswing will be fairly similar to yours. He'll get a little bit more depth and extension in the arms in the backswing, but here comes that sit move to the left side. So it's very, very quick, and it's why the professional swings look so smooth. He has already transferred 90% of his weight and the club is just beginning to gravity drop right here from the top of the backswing. Once that weight has shifted the few inches out in front of target to stop those chunking issues, then it becomes how quickly and rapidly can that left knee begin to post and straighten. It still continues forward as he's driving through with a short iron, but soon through impact and right after the moment of strike, you will see a rather aggressive post or jump in the left side, which really clears the hips and gives a ton of space to swing the arms and club through. As you sit to the left side, your left knee remains flexed, remains flexed, strike the ball, still flexed, still flexed, check it again here, try to see where that movement is in the left knee, clean that up a bit, play it through, flexed, flexed, and then there. When the knee continues to bend down and forward, it has not fully rotated and cleared enough space. So. 
I think there's a few things to go over again with that, but the general idea of what you're trying to do is get to the top in a similar fashion. I'm not here to bug you on your takeaway too much. I think you can fix that just by working at it a little bit. Plenty of content online for the takeaway, but your hands and the follow through, you just don't have enough space right in here. If you were to get that left knee to come back a bit more, you would have a ton more room to clean up and clear up. So that's good for this video. Let's get out of the dual view and go over to your driver's swing, which I'm going to first play it through. I saved the details at the end of the swing because it will give me all of the ball flight data as well. Don't really see the beginning of your rear end to look at much of an early extension through this, but let's check out your path and your numbers. So setup, if you're having a downward angle of attack, you can try setting up with more tilt behind the ball. Ball position looks like it's appropriately far forward enough, but get your hands to be where they are, sort of keep your hands where they are and keep your head tilting back by having your right shoulder lean more down try to touch your trail knee with your right hand and that will tell you that you have enough tilt from the starting position but enough about that let's play this through see if that inside takeaway still occurs with the driver it does you're more likely to get away with that in the longer clubs than you are with the shorter clubs but it could also explain why you tend to draw the short ones and fade the longer ones you take it away inside and then maybe come a bit over from the top so at this top position with your driver it is to be expected a little bit longer than your iron swing and also a little bit more upright so that inside takeaway has preluded to a loop so that is why you want to eventually get rid of that takeaway it is not a death move for you because you do retain good connection of that trail arm back down to the body the shaft goes through your trail forearm uh, but again your movements of your weight forward and trail knee driving in has the downward angle of attack through strike. Now it's gonna take a minute for these numbers to pop up on screen, so I'm going to just fast forward to that P8 position at the end and let's take a look. So it looks like the ball speed 146, getting to about 150 ball speed should be a good goal for you. And you're not that far off. Two to three yards per ball speed miles an hour. So if you increase by about three and a half, four, you might see eight to 10 yards right there just with a little bit faster speed and that can happen with that turning of the hips the other angles that are most important for distance are i think that's your launch angle and your spin rate good job on the path and face looks like path was square face was one degree closed for a tiny little pull pull draw uh, and that's why your spin rate was okay looking to get that more in the 25 2200 range can really maximize your distance with a lower spin rate and a higher launch angle would probably be your number one but that has already been addressed by trying to tilt and then also stay tilted back behind the ball plenty of videos on that as well but when you get your weight driving forward with the driver low launch higher spin less distance hope you can take a few tips and work on that here in the sim good luck sendaswing.com